as you can see, welcome to my very first Pokemon TCG reveal video. Where I'm going to be opening every one, and you won't be able to see all of them, every one of these. I'll show you real quick what all of them are like. So, this is my very first Pokemon TCG reveal video that I'm going to react to for. That I figured out how to open. So I'm going to open it right now. To reveal. That indeed, one of my Pokemon cards is going to be a hollow mega card. Oh, and also I get other Pokemon cards as well that I'm going to show before I get started. Oh, I actually do get these cards. Whatever I just saw. And one of them is, one of them is a rare card, I, for what I know. Let me figure out how to do this. So, what I got for the first card, I'm doing it in, I'm doing it in a weird order. Is that I got, and for the rest of the time I'm going to be sitting down, and this might be cut it as well. These are all the cards I got. And I know you guys might have seen my head. I got a Glaceon for one of my Pokemon cards. And I know many people don't really like Glaceon as a Pokemon. I like it because it's so pretty looking. And my other Pokemon card, and yet, and I have a box as well, which isn't really a box, but I think I have a, I think I have a Pokemon card block, a well, Pokemon card box in my hallway. Another I one that I got is a Hollow already. EV GX. I know. Well, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say that about me knowing certain things. So for one thing, I just showed what my other card was. Every Hollow card is going to be in my Pokemon trading card game notepad right here. So I got a Hollow EV GX card. If you guys know how rare these cards are then comment down below for how much they each cost because or they each have in value so my very first hollow card that I just have I'm putting in this notebook hollow EVGX I'm just showing you the notebook once so, going on, and I'm putting the other Pokemon cards to the side. The other is a Leafeon, which is another evolved form of Eevee, used a, using, not a leaf stone, but a sort of mossy stone in the forest. It's cool. And then another Hollow card, which is a an SP, well... Yes, I'm going to reveal it right now. It's one of the most popular cards. Espeon and Deoxys GX. It's a hollow Espeon and Deoxys tag team card. Which is amazing. So I'm going to put that in my notepad. Which is going to take me a while to do. I know how the Pokemon cards go, and apparently I got out the most popular ones already. The next one is another Hollow, and it's Dark Rai and Umbreon GX. I know I said that backwards, but but you would you wouldn't care either if you saw how cool this is. 
a dark gray, it's a hollow, and I love it. Black Black Lands, that's an interesting attack name. I'm gonna put that in here. I'm gonna show you the first page of every hollow I got. Reggie Gigas. I've wanted that card. Reggie Gigas. I was like, imagine me getting this card at some point. I got it. At long last. And I'm calling this a rare card because I don't think I'll ever get this card. I don't think anyone else has ever gotten this card. Oh, wait. Is, there, is it a reverse hollow? I don't. It is. It's a reverse hollow. Reggie Gigas. That's cool. I didn't know that. I'm going to put that in the first page as well. I didn't know that was a reverse hollow. It's hard for me to tell for some of these, but the rest of them weren't reverse hollowed. I did not know that was a reverse hollow. That is interesting. And then my last one is a hollow Caracosta GX, which is also cool. I love. I pretty much love Caracosta as a Pokemon. So, so far, I got an Eevee, Espeon, and Deoxys, Darkrai, and Umbreon, Reverse Hollow Regigigas, and a Hollow Caracosta. And I'm putting them in my notepad Pokemon card wise. And I'm gonna put both sides of, of them in the other, in like. I don't know, front and back pages. It makes sense to me. Now, it's on to... Oh, yeah. And I also get this big card. Which is the same thing as, as the last one. I'm just gonna put every one of these out first. I'm gonna close this for now. So I can place these on. So that will show you what I got, but I'm not going to really put it anywhere. Because what I got is a Master Edition card. Which I'm very sure is not really supposed to be kept as a... Which I'm very sure is not supposed to be kept as like a Pokemon. It's not really supposed to be kept. So... The re so I'm putting that down because now I'm opening all of these up. I'm op so looking at all of these cards. And I have my Pokemon card box as well. You guys aren't are probably not going to be able to see. And I'm gonna look to see for sure. <laughs> yeah, you guys aren't going to be able to see all of these. So these are all of the these. I don't care if they're upside down as well. All of the things I got. I got eight Pokemon card stuff. And I'm going to show. I'm going to show you what all of them look like before opening them. And then I'm going to open up the most exciting one first, or no, last. And then the excitement really begins. So, here's what they all look like. That's what I got for Christmas. So Merry Christmas, everyone. Now, I am going to open. I am thinking of opening the Sogoleo one first. The Sogoleo and Lunala go, comes first. So the rest I'm keeping right here. Don't mind seeing my arms for a moment, because I'm opening back up my Pokemon 
card notepad. So, first one that I'm opening up, if I can, I'm always terrible with these. Uh, Got it. So it's pretty much my first time ever doing it. So remove this. I'm do I'm doing a trick that everybody does. So First one is a Grubbin, which I think I had already. Next, oops, hold on. Making sure that I stack my cards right. Next is a Drowsy. I know I'm supposed to go a little bit faster than this, but it's my first time. Oh, I just saw what the next one was, and you guys are going to freak out. Because the one I opened first was this. That will give you a hint for what I just got. I got a poison barb. Hollow. It's a hollow poison barb. Or is it reverse hollow? I think it's supposed to be a hollow. Seriously. That's a hollow poison barb. It's an item card that is hollow. And then I got a hollow solo soul go leo GX. That is insane. I got a hollow Zogoleo GX. <clears throat> and I freaked out when I saw it too. It was like, oh way, I can't I can't believe I actually got what was the what was on the card logo. A Solgo Leo. Because that is one of my favorite legendary Pokemon in the Lola. The other being Necrozma, and I'd be I'd freak out if I get that. Putting that in there. Hold on. So hold on a moment while I do this. Hmm. Never mind. Hold on. So I, so I did do this wrong. I don't know if I'm going to be able to have enough space in my notepad for all of these hollows. It, give me a moment, this notepad stuff is hard. So I'm putting, I'm putting my previous hollows that I got in the other page of the notepad, including the new one that I got, which is my, 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 Hello, Solgoleo GX. Next is the Psychic Energy, or even it would be Poison, because Psychic or Poison, which which I don't I know doesn't really make sense. Next is a Nest Ball. I'm not looking at the cards, so that I would blindly see them. Next is Rotom Dex, which is really cool. <laughs> and now my next card is an evolved form of Grubbin, Charger Bug. And now I'm on the last three cards. Oh my goodness, I just I I saw what it might what they might be. Shoulder. No hollows. I only got one hollow. I got a shoulder, which I got so many of those. Makuhita, which I also got, which I also got one of those, and not very sure if this if this is supposedly rare or not, but I got Firo. Which, now that I think about it, I feel like I should look up how people 
I think I'm doing it right by doing the top three cards and putting them in the back. It's either that or putting the back three cards in the front. So next I am opening the Lunala card pack. I don't know why it's so easy to open it like I'm opening a snack or sandwich bag. Mm. Got it. I'm gonna continue doing it like I have. Putting the, I don't know if it's top three or. I don't know because, I think it's top three and putting it in the back. But just to tell you guys, what's supposed to happen is the second to the bottom is always supposed to be hollow. But my Pokemon cards is weird because my because my second to bottom is probably never going to be hollow. But I don't know that for sure. Because my first one was not hollow. And I, I didn't call my Fira rare because I felt like it could be rare. But I might get another one. So next is Litten. Which I have not gotten yet. Litten is my... F oh. Be right back, guys. I'm not counting this. Sorry about that. I didn't cut that because I was saying goodbye to my dad, which didn't take long. So, let's in this first. It's probably going to guarantee one hollow card, though. Young Goose is next. I think the next one is going to be hollow. Yep, it is. It's hollow. <laughs> or... It, I think it's supposed to be reverse hollow, actually. Just like Poison Barb that I got. I got reverse hollow Decidueye, which is really cool. So, I guess I am doing this wrong. I think it. I think I am supposed to do the bottom three cards. But that... But, whatever. I'm gonna reverse hollow. It... I think it's top three cards, so I'm going to stick with the t top three cards, and you can correct me in the comments for the next time I get Pokemon cards, which would be in another while. Next is a Gold Duck, which is, which I like water type Pokemon. Gold Duck is pretty silly in the anime, so I pretty much like it. So that's what I just got. The next Pokemon I got, which is not a Pokemon, it's an energy, fighting type energy. <laughs> and my next Pokemon, I'm going to say it right now, is a Charger Bug again. And it has the same moves as well. Shocking Jaws and an Electric Ball. Electro Ball! The next one I got is a pretty rare energy. So I'm going to call it rare. A Rainbow Energy. Cool, isn't it? Next is my favorite Pokemon. One of my favorites. And it evolves into an even cooler Pokemon, Crocorock. 
Ash's Crocodile is my favorite Pokemon from Ash's Unovan Journey. Next is a Lillipup. I have two more cards after this. I next this is a Lillipup. Work up and bite. Neat. Paris, which I have so many of. <laughs> and the one and my very last card that I'm going to show right now. It's the same one I had f had before, Firo. Paris and Firo, really. I already have a Firo, but I have it again, with the same exact moves as well. So not very many there. Now, I'm going to open the next two sets of cards, choosing from the six, and I've already chosen one of them, which is. Which is going to be the Celestial Invasion ones. Which is the Guzzlord. If I can find it. There it is. That's what one of them is. And then the other is going to... Oh, it's not called Celestial. It's called, it's called Crimson. Next, I am going to do Buzzwool. Because they both say cr cr Crimson Invasion. And I'm doing these in a pretty odd order, but... The next one I'm doing is Celestial Storm. After that. So, Buzzwool first, because Guzzlord is pretty much my favorite Pokemon, even though it's pretty much turned into my least favorite. Wow. Alright. Getting things right off the bat. Starting things off right off the bat. Top three cards. Wait, I figured out what I, what I was supposed to do. Because I knew I saw it. I knew I saw it. One, two, three. I think I did that right. So my next, so my first one is an item. Peaking red card. I think I did that right now. Because I did the front cards, but I'm supposed to do the back cards. Because I knew I did something wrong. Mill Tank is next. M Moo Moo Mount. Some of these move names are very funny. Like, one of them is Sit Down Splash. Flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 30 more damage. Sit Down Splash. Hakamo'o. Cool. It, which is a cool looking Pokemon. Dragon and fighting type, by the way. Feebas. And I'm just saying that in case anybody doesn't know Pokemon and are watching this video. Next is a Pokemon that I've had I've had two of. Cubone. Not even hollow, not even rare. It's just the same Cubone I've had before. I don't know if I still had it, so that would be nice if I didn't. This is another Pokemon I have already had, which is a Shellos. And I've, I'm not really showing you my oldest Pokemon cards because they're not rare either, other than the... Other than the... Zekrom, but none of them are Harlows. So that's why. Next is an another Pokemon I already have, and the one after that is also that. I'm gonna flip the cards over so that I, so that I don't see what they are. Because I'm cheating. I feel like I'm cheating. But now I'm not cheating. Next is another Pokemon I already have. Poundower. Has the same moves as well. A reverse hollow Auron. I'm on the last three cards. Oh my gosh. I just looked and I didn't mean it. I was just ch checking how many more cards I have. I have a reverse uh, I have a reverse hollow Auron and I just saw what my next one was. And it is indeed the hollow Guzzlord! So, hold on. I'll freak out about this later. First, I'm going to put this in there. 
I got, uh, I got, mm, I'm speechless. I'm very speechless that I got the same thing as what this was supposed to be. A hollow Guzzlord GX. That is insane. I really love this Pokemon. But the sad thing is in Pokemon Sun and Moon, I felt like it was pretty useless. And my most favorite Ultra Beast is not really Guzzlord, but Feramosa. Surprisingly for you guys. If I get Feramosa, I'll freak out even more than the Guzzlord. Because I love Feramosa as an Ultra Beast. Surprisingly for you guys. If you guys are not very fond of Feramosa, I love Feramosa. Its speed and power is amazing. I got rare energy. Ooh, it's a rare fighting energy. <laughs> That's funny. I was just doing that mockery voice anyways. It's a it's a rare energy. Next is the Guzzlord. Now let's not wrap, wrap things right off the bat, shall we? Good. I'm gonna... I already looked at one of the Pokemon. So, whoopsies. It's a Pokemon I already have, so it's not much of a di big deal anyways. Throw this away. Back three cards. Put them in the front. I'm trying not to look at what they are. Because I'm doing this. And just picking out the front one. So the first card I have is is a Molga. Which is interesting. Because I actually pretty much like a Molga. Volt Switch is, is really cool. Switch to one of your electric type Pokemon. Which I don't. Which I don't have much of. I have Zekrom, Pikachu, and Emolga, and probably one more, but I don't know what one. I forgot already. I think I, I think I only have three, but I will have more. Like I just did, an Alolan Graveler, which for you guys, I love Alolan Golem. I love Alolan Geodude and Graveler as well. Even though it's just a rock and electric type and they have a quad weakness against ground types, but I still love Alolan. I still love these Alolan forms because they're so cool looking and I know that their eyebrows are supposed to be magnetic. And that's my favorite part. I can't believe I got that. I'm going to get one of my favorite Pokemon from these and, and I'm very much hoping I do because it's my. because I'd freak out. If I ever do, which I just got one of my favorite Pokemon from Alola. Next is a Laron. Not hollow. And I already have this. But it has oh, never mind. It has the same moves. But still, Laron. One of my favorite Pokemon because it evolves into my most favorite <coughs> Pokemon. Which is Agron. And I call that Rock, so I'm gonna call you Rock because I have a I have an Agron named Rock in Pokemon X. Next is a Pokemon I already have, and I already said it was Bunnelby, so not much of a big deal there. Next is Mount Corp Magic Corp. Whoa, hold on, I better look at this. That is interesting. It's a Magikarp and a, me and a Mechanical Magikarp. That's actually a cool pick. Warfall Evolution. What does that do? Search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon. I don't have it. I don't have a uh, Gyarados. It'd be cool if I did. Next. Chimeco. My favorite Pokemon from James from Team Rocket. That's what... And I pretty much love Terzi and James from Team Rocket because they are very funny. Sham Echo is really, is really, it's a really cool and cute Pokemon. Next. It's a different Pikachu. I already have a Pikachu, but this one is cuter and different. And it has Pika Draw, draw a card, and, and Quick Attack. Flip a coin to pass this attack does 20 more damage. That is cool. I got a Pikachu. That is different. 
the Pikachu I have is, it also has a certain move, double, I think it's called double voltage, and also another made up Pikachu move, but I don't remember. I'll show you guys what that Pikachu looks like real quick if I can find it. I'll show you three of my most favorite Pokemon cards that I ever have. Even though I have very powerful ones, but all I'm looking for are... All I'm looking for is a Pikachu card that I have already. So it would take me a little while to find. And don't worry. I feel like I'm almost there already. Oh, I do have an electric another electric type. Two of them. Chinchou and Helioptile. I'm just showing you my Pikachu. I had this already? I didn't know that. I actually forgot I had that. And here's my, and here's the layer on that I showed you guys already. That's the same layer on that I have. But all I'm looking for is my Pikachu. And I have a Slagoo as well, which is funny. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Is that Grom? I'll show you guys my Zekrom as well. Got my Cubone, got that, got Zelio. This is not an electric type. It's the same Bunnelby I have. I'm just showing you guys. There it is. Pick a punch and double voltage. Hold on. I'm going to replace Laron with Pikachu. This is a Pikachu I have. I'll show you guys one more cool card though. That I have. If I if I Well sure. I'll show you my Matang. Because I think yeah. This is another Pokemon I have. Gonna keep these in my drawer. And I'm going to put these... Wait! My Zekrom this whole time was a hollow. I just saw that. I did not know this was a hollow. The whole time, my Zekrom was a hollow. I didn't know what hollow Pokemon were, apparently. So... There you go. Continuing on though. A Misdreavus. <laughs> I love I love the memories from that. Whoops, I looked. But good thing is I didn't see what it was. I didn't even, I didn't really know. That's a cool Pokemon. And I remember Trigger Conway's Misdreavus and the dumb AI in Pokemon. Colosseum, which I'm thinking about watching again. And I recommend you guys see it too because it's really funny. I got a reverse hollow Solandit. Oh, I know it's reverse hollow. I, I just saw that it looked like it. Yep, it's a reverse hollow, I think. If you guys know for sure, I'm going to still put it in my. I'm still going to put it in my hollow. Holo cards, but that's a reverse holo land it for what I see. It even feels like it, so yeah, it must be. Next is a rare Orangaroo. I'm just saying rare because the next one is an energy electric. So I got a reverse holo land it and a Rangaroo, which I know a lot of people thought were thought that this Orangaroo was actually a grass type because it looks like it could be, but it's not. It's a normal psychic type or a normal ghost type. I think it's a normal psychic type though. And then an electric energy. So whatever for that one. Next is, did I, did I open up? Yeah, I did. I opened up my Guzzlord card and I didn't really get much of 
anything. So next I'm doing Pokemon Sun and Moon Celestial Storm. Don't mind if you see my face. I don't have a Celestial Storm card for the other one. So instead I'm doing the Raichu, which is Pokemon Pokemon X and Y Evolutions. I'm doing I'm opening that first. Ta -da! Just showing you guys in case you for, you missed out on the beginning of the video. Even even though oh wait, wait I'm gonna make it premiered actually. Never mind. If you watched this far, then you already know that this was premiered. So never mind about anything I said. And what, and I'm not going to say when it's premiered. You guys already know, would already know it that, at that point when it was premiered. Because I'm not dumb. So, back three cards put in the front. I know that's how it goes. And I'm not looking. I love the smell of them. I love the smell of the new cards. So, flip the page. My first card is a Haunter. Interesting enough, because I don't think I have a Haunter. And it's the same Haunter I saw A-Drive pulling. And shoutouts to A-Drive. Because he is a really cool, he is a really cool and funny YouTuber. But I don't really watch him very much, but I still really like him. Because he is one of my favorite Pokemon YouTubers. Another being original 151. Next. Let me put that in the card pile. Next is a Pokédex. A first gen Pokédex called Dexter. Pikachu, the mouse Pokémon. And I I know I know some Pokédex entries. I just can't say them from the top of my head. I already I just know that Pikachu that Pichu Really, his jolts then sometimes shock itself. But Pikachu is a more controlled Pokemon that whenever it jolts, it's pretty strong. And then Raichu apparently is stronger, but Pikachu proves itself in the anime a lot. Next is another item, a Shadow Spirit Link. A slow... I'm um, sorry. meant to say Slobo. I have misreads sometimes. I sometimes can't really read that very well. Slowbro Spirit Link. Link. Which is cool. Next is Voltorb. Love, love this Pokemon. I love Electrode because it's very funny looking. It has very good reactions. Getting through the classic Pokemon. Next is... I already have this Tangela, I think. Or Tangrowth, but... But this one's different. I think I, think I had Tangela. I call it a Tangela for a while, but I know it's called a Tangela because of the anime. Next is, I had this Pokemon already, and it had the same moves as well, except, well, no, it's not the same moves. It's sort of a weaker version because my, because my Poliwag from my Pokemon cards has the same amount of health, but has, I think, Tackle and Hydro Pump. Which you would call that rare, but I had, but my very first Pokemon card card collection was just a box of cards. It didn't have any rarities or anything, just a hollow Zacrom Zy that I had no idea was a was a hollow in the first place. Next is a Seal. Pretty much the only Pokemon I'm I I pretty much forget, which is a Water and Ice type, I think. If not just a water type. Next is another Magikarp. And, it's a, and this one's sort of more useful because it has Flail. That's 10 more, 10 damage times the number of damage counters on this Pokemon. Which I don't know what that means. So, we'll see. Two more cards are ready. Next is... A reverse hollow Porygon. I I have not gotten the Porygon yet. 
and I've seen Porygon from A Drive's polls, and I think he got a reverse hollow as well, but I'm not well, I'm not sure you can correct me in the comments. But I got a reverse hollow Porygon, which is still super cool. Is, is it my breakfast time? Even though I'm so close to being done with this. Conversion 3, though. Changes into whatever type is. It says choose the typing, but it's pretty useless because it only knows that move. Even though I'll pretend it knows one more move, which is tackle. And then the final move. Then the final one is a rare Starmie, which I have not gotten a Starmie yet, and I don't think I'll get another one of these, so I'll call it rare. I'm going to I'm going to go out of my room for a little bit, and then I'll cut if it's my breakfast time so I'll be right back and I'll cut this so far 40 minute video did you say breakfast time? alright just wondered next sorry about that next card set I'm choosing at that time, I know you didn't see my head. I was doing, I was leaning my, I was leaning left. The next one I'm picking is Pokemon Sun and Moon Celestial Storm. Blaze the turn. A lot of people like Charizard. I'm hoping for an Incineroar. Not looking. I did that right. I feel like I got it wrong somehow. So first is a Dunsparce. Surprisingly for you guys, I actually like Dunsparce. Even though a lot of people know that it's a weak Pokemon, but I wanted a Dunsparce in Pokemon before, but felt sad that they discluded it, meaning they don't have it in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Unless they do in the DLCs, but I've never gotten the DLCs before Pokemon Sword. Huh, I don't know. But I like Dunsparce anyways. Despite how weak it could be. It's not my favorite Pokemon, but I just like it. I like how it looks and stuff. Next is an item, which is a gym leader, Tate and Lisa, tag battling team. Choose one, shuffle, oh, choose which decision you want. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw five cards, or switch your active Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. Interesting. Next is another item, which is a trainer, Bell's Maintenance. Shuffle a card with from your hand into your deck. If you do, draw three cards. Interesting. Next is a rat. This is the same Pokemon I had before, but it has different moves and it looks sort of cute. Or they make it look cute, but I know it's supposedly ugly in in reality, but I still like I still like this kind of Rattata along with the other Rattata I have. Call for the boss. Switch your deck into the world in a Lolan Radicate or a Lolan Radicate GX, which I have none for, of. So if I get that, then I definitely will be able to. The next one is Gnaw. The one that I have, the Lolan Rattata that I have, has a really good move, Focus Energy, and I think Tackle. Next is Voltorb, again. Floating Electros, Electrons, sorry, I can't read, and Thundershock. If heads, then your opponent's Pokemon will be paralyzed. Next, Treatco. Treatco! 
has sleep poison. Flip your no, oh, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep and per and poisoned. That's why it's called sleep poison. <laughs> so sleep and poisoned. That's impossible. But this is Pokemon TCG. So it's not impossible. Next is Golpin. One of my favorite Super Smash Bros. Pokemon. Because I love Super Smash Bros. Brawl's Golpin. It's like Golpin. Oh! But the anime's Golpin is sort of creepy for what its history is. Which you can watch if you don't believe me because I don't really know its history much, but I do know. I do know that it has a pretty scary history. Next is a Weezmer. Oh my, it's running from a Beware. That's what. That's a really interesting card. Ball and Pound. I don't think I even have a Wismer in my Pokemon card collection. So that's cool. And also that's pretty that's pretty scary and yet very funny as well. Three more cards. Where are they? The first one is a reverse hollow Reggie Rock. Interesting. It's one of the legendary Pokemon, which is a Reggie. If I get a Reggie Drago, I'm going to say my history with it because I know you guys will not like this, but it's actually not my favorite Pokemon because I I would have seen better. I wish that it would have been a little bit better, but, but it looks like its arms are supposed to be the head and the jaw, and I don't really like that. I was hoping that if it if it showed the Reggie Drago, it would have been something else. It would have been like, well, I don't know. Maybe you just switch the Reggie to... Something other than Reggie Drago probably make it a Reggie. I don't know, but I just don't like Reggie Drago. I might change my mind, but I but for now I just don't really like Reggie Drago that much. Enhanced Stomp and Hammer Arm, though my favorite Reggie is surprisingly for you guys. Because I do have a favorite Reggie. It used to be Reggie Steel, but now I like Reggie Shock or Reggie or Reggie Electric. Next is a main neck trick. Then the next is an energy, so this is a rare Pokemon. Main neck trick. Which I have not had yet. I think I have an electric, but I don't have an electric main neck trick. And then the next is an energy. Fairy. Fairy. Which I have not had a fairy energy before. Next is going to be my final two Pokemon card. Which are... I swear I have more. I have two more cards. I did not open every single one, I swear. I see, oh, there they are. I was like, I was getting upset because I swear I only opened six, and there they were. These are the last two, and the first one I'm choosing is this one. Final two. I know this is going to be premiered, and it's going to be very exciting. Oh, come on. I'll open it like a... Like I opened one of my bags. There. It's really hard to open. Then it... Then I just open it like this. I looked at one of them. It's a Roselia. Which I don't have that either. Do this. Back three cards. Put them in the front. And then my first Pokemon is a Lucky Egg. A lot of people freak out about it, and I would too. Lucky Eggs are really valuable. 
in po in Pokemon games. That's really cool that I got that. Next is a dub wool. I don't even have a Wooloo. That I just have a dub wool right off the bat. And dub wool, I've never used a my Wooloo in battle, so really I I like dub wool because of Hop's dub wool and Pokemon Sword. It's really tanky and I love it. Tanky and really good with attacks as well. Next, Doug Trio. <laughs> wow. I gotta see this. <laughs> what the heck is going on? I think they. I think they're just shocked. It's like, whoa! What's going on? <laughs> You're in our way. That is really funny. <laughs> Mud bomb is the only move it has. Won't affect the flying type for sure. There's a one I already have. I already told you what it was, Roselia. But now I have the evolved form of Badoo, but it's equally useless. Next is a Ferocid, which I don't think I have. I believe I have it, but I don't remember. Roll out. I'm going to make it do 10, 20, 40, 80, 160. But... I'm gonna roll my dice because it would be an even rarer chance for it to hit. Only in the other exception is having it be knocked out. And then Krabby. That's an interesting picture for it. Krabby. I hope I, I hope it's still recording. It's still recording, thankfully, because I felt like it would say, your storage has run out, so you cannot record any more of these videos, because then I would have to delete video clips that I've recorded before. <sighs> I have a dusty phone. So, you saw my head, so I'm sorry. Next is in the lol. I love this Pokemon, dang it. <laughs> I said, dang it, because why not? I love this Pokemon. But I, but I said, dang it, because I was thinking it would be, it would, it, it would be something else. When I saw Galarian Zigzagoon, I was like, oh, I'm just, I got you. I can't talk because of hunger. But I was going to say, I love this Pokemon. It reminds me of my Obstagoon. I love Obstagoon. It's one of my favorite Galarian Pokemon. I'm freak out if I get another one of my favorite Galarian Pokemon, even if I get a legendary. And that was... Oh yeah, it does say Sword and Shield. Never mind. I thought, I thought I got it from the Sun and Moon pack, but I got it from Sword and Shield. Good! I love Galarian Zigzagoon. Next is... A Gossifleur was evolved into a Gal an Aldigoss. I don't even have an a Gossifleur because my... Older card pack was was black and white stuff. I don't, or I had a Helioptile as well, so I didn't even have... No, it was Gen 7 stuff. Because I also had an Alolan Graveler. Next. Stonjourner. I actually like this Pokemon, even though I've never used it before. I love... I actually really like this Pokemon. It's supposed to just be a rock type, though. So I don't know why... It, it shows fighting. I think it's a rock and fighting type, but I've never seen... But I don't know. I've never seen a Stone Journer, so you can tell me if it's a rock and fighting type or just a rock type. Next is... An, a Grap Locked. A gym, B's Grap Locked is really hard to beat, and this proves it. Octolock and Tough Swing. Which, it really has Brutal Swing, I think. Or something else, but I don't remember what. But Octolock is very... Is a very powerful move for our Grap Locked. And then my final Pokemon, and then the final one is an Energy. So, none of the Pokemon I had were were Hollows that time. I'll say my Grap Locked was a rare, and I'll agree with that being a rare. Final card pack... Then I am ending the video, and I gotta say, 
It has been fun opening these. Lots of fun. Now let's see if I can figure out how to open this. Look at it. I'm gonna just look at it because it's the same Pokemon I have, but with different moves. So I'm on my last Pokemon card pile. Move this back three. Put it in the front. So my final cards. Let's see if I can freak. Let's see if I freak out over every one of them. Oh, interesting. Poke Kid from Pokemon Sword and Shield. I know that's from Pokemon Sword and Shield because there's barely any Pokemon. There's barely any Poke Kids in other games other than Sun and Moon. But cool. Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I wish I had that game. Next is. Another item, an energy search. Looking for an energy. And next is another item, Team Yell Grunt, which is a trainer card. Put an energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon into your hand. Interesting. I wonder if they still make up the the trading card game, which is a TCG. Next is a Pokemon I already have, but has a different moves. Beam and Sand Spray. Would be nice if I get Sandaconda or Silly Cobra. So land it again, but a different mo but a different Mon. Interesting enough. And it has a pretty useless move as well. Next is a Galarian Ponyta, which I know looks like a unicorn, and it's a psychic fairy type, I think. Either that or it's just a psychic type, and then it turns into a psychic fairy type. No, it's, no it is a fairy type. Or it's a psychic fairy type. Still, really cool. <laughs> it has Psybolt. I was going to say Paybolt, so that's why you heard the P sound. Next is Minchino. I never used it, so I don't know I don't know if it's anybody's favorite Pokemon, but here it is. Tail Tail Wap which is a made up move from the card theories. Sobble, which is my favorite starter Pokemon because I love Inteleon. Am I gonna get any hollows in this one? I bet I won't, but let's see. But we'll see on the on these last three cards of the video. Next card is I think this is a I think this is supposed to be a rare. This looks more like a rare Pokemon. If it's a I'm gonna put it in my hollows, but I don't think it's a hollow. I think it's more of a rare Pokemon. Rhydon, which I don't have. I have a Rhyhorn, but I don't have a Rhydon. I'm going to put it on my Hollows page, even though it's not Hollow. If I get a Hollow on the next card, so I'm going to just put it right here, in case I get a Hollow here. Nope. And then the next is a Steel Energy. So, this one's a Nine Tails. Wow, I can just put the Pokemon card and flip it through there. Nine Tails. Which I also don't have, so... That's not really a rare. My Rhydon is a rare card. So, I'll put my rare Rhydon, since it looks very promising, in here. Because it looks a lot like a reverse hollow. Even though it's not. That's interesting, though. So, to top it all off, these are all of the hollows other than Rhydon that I have. Starting from the... Starting from the legendary cards that I got, a Hollow EV GX, Espeon and Deoxys GX, Umbreon and Darkrai GX, and Regigigas, which is a rever 
which is a reverse hollow. And I love Regigigas. It's a really cool Pokemon. I just wish it didn't have slow start. Caracosta GX, Poison Barb, my favorite legendary Pokemon, and Decidueye. Auron. Pretty good Ultra Beast, but not my most favorite. Oldest card. Oldest card I have that I didn't know was ho was hollow, and so land it. Reverse hollow Porygon and Reggie Rock. So that makes I got fifteen. Did I count that? Yes, fifteen. Not really. I have fourteen, but I'm counting right down as a reverse hollow. I got 15 hollows, but you can count 14 because I don't think Rhydon is really a hollow Pokemon. I just put it in as a hollow because it looks like it would be. So, thank you guys so much for watching my reveals. If you liked it, then like the video. But sadly, I won't be able to make another Pokemon card reveal video. I might reveal every one of my old Pokemon cards, but I'm not going to be able to reveal every one of my Pokemon cards. Or, I will make my Pokemon card reveal video for my oldest Pokemon cards, but they're not going to be... They're not going to be, like, very exciting. So if you want to see that, then comment down below. And also... Hoping I don't get any negative comments on this video as well. So, see you guys next time. Bye.